it's Mike Schneider with USA Today. At CES Today, Reed Hastings said that Netflix had gone global. 190 countries dropped the mic. Then, later on, we got a chance to catch up with Chief Content Officer Ted Sarandos about what that means for the streaming service. Launching Netflix globally meant we've spent the last couple of years uh, lining up global rights and multi-territory rights for our licensed content, but also are producing more and more original content where we have those rights already. And what's been really great and reinforced every time we launch new countries around the world is there is a real desire for mostly the same content. We were using this viewing data to lead us to doing the deal we did with Adam Sandler last year. And our first movie, Ridiculous Six, was a reinforcement of exactly what we'd hoped, which was Adam Sandler is remarkably global. And what we were, the reason we knew that was in all 60 countries we operated, no matter what Adam Sandler movie we licensed, in what window, it immediately became one of the most watched movies that week or that month or that, you know, for that period. There's other, things, other examples of it. Every time we launch a new territory, one of the most watched shows in that country on Netflix is Prison Break. I don't know why, but it's, it's been true in every place we launch. Suits, the USA show Suits, is remarkably global. And it, there's nothing about it that is intentionally global. Um, and when I mean the difference there is like I think uh, Sense8, our own original show, is built to be a global show. Uh, local talent, local stars filmed in nine different cities at the same time. Uh, Narcos, uh, which is a show we make with a, a French film company uh, created by Brazil, a Brazilian, starring a Brazilian who's speaking Spanish. Uh, the whole show is 85% in Spanish. We film it in Colombia and people love it in Germany. So those, you know, that's an example of, of, of global TV. But there's also something that happens when you take a great show that just speaks to the human condition and that is recognized in all, in all cultures. When we started streaming eight years ago, nothing was unique to Netflix. Everything was reruns of other people's content that was prop, you know, increasingly was, start, was available on other services and other windows. And now what's happening increasingly is everything on Netflix is exclusive to Netflix and created by Netflix. Um, and what, that gives us the ability to do things like global launching. Uh, no network partner would have allowed us to release all 13 episodes of their shows, so that's something we had to do uniquely through ownership. No movie studio would let us have their movies the same day they're in theaters, so that's why we produced um, uh, A Beast of No Nation and Ridiculous Six and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon 2 and War Machine with Brad Pitt upcoming. And what we're trying to do is give people what they want, when they want, at prices they can afford, in the highest possible quality. And uh, be, be owning and originating the content gives us the ability to do that. Now, that wouldn't have been that exciting if the shows were like, eh, who cares? Uh, but we've had shows that have been you know, hugely meaningful in the culture. Um, shows that have been nominated for Emmys and Oscars and uh, Golden Globes and SAG Awards and on and on and on. Uh, that, you know, th as an example, this year, Master of None, the a show with Aziz Ansari, uh, was the, on more top, critics' top ten list than any show on television. It ranked, ranked number one on that list, on the compiled list of critics' cho top choices. And that's incredibly gratifying that while we're releasing in really high volume, we're able to maintain a very high level of quality and find a great show for everybody.